Real Salt Lake back at training following Saturday night's game in Los Angeles against the LA Galaxy as they prepare for the Portland Timbers. Coming off a 2-1 win in the Open Cup just a week and a half ago, this will be the first of three matches against the Portland Timbers in Major League Soccer play and the first time they've been back to Geldwin Field since the come from behind 3-2 win last season. LA is a good team, you know, we beat them once. Um... They beat us twice. I, you know, I don't think that's a huge shock. Mm -hmm. Us having two games at home, we would have liked to, you know, earn more than three points in three games against them. But we just didn't play that good this weekend. You know, we didn't keep the ball and we made some defensive mistakes. And they got two world-class guys up top that are going to punish you for it. And that's kind of what happened. You know, I just think it's sometimes you need to be able to tip your hat to your opponent and say, dang, that was a pretty good game they played against us. Because I think, you know, uh, on most nights and against most opponents, um, we, we maybe walk out of there with a point. Um, but when you've got somebody that's as clinically on as Robbie Keane was on that night, um, it's difficult to, to be too down on what we did. Because, I, again, I thought that there were moments in there where we looked quite good. And, and we're moving the ball quite well, and we're causing them troubles as well. So um, we were just a little bit off. Uh, and when you're a little bit off against a team with those kind of forwards, you pay. We showed last game that, uh, you know, there's a lot of things to work on. Even over the last six weeks when, when players were out, you know, we showed that we have a lot to work on. Uh, and sometimes losses like that can wake you up a little bit. I think some of those things have been happening to us the past six weeks or so, uh, and we've gotten away with it. You don't get away with it against uh, Robbie Keane and Alain and Donovan. They're going to punish you. Uh, we were punished the other night without question. Uh, and so we need to swallow our pride a little bit and start start to work back towards getting uh, into that right form that we want to. We can't look at, uh, okay, this is nine games left, next game eight, seven. I think we need to keep getting better and better uh, as the season continues. And there's going to be hiccups along the way. Uh, but important things as well is how do we react to those. There's a game Wednesday night against a great team that you better believe is going to be super, super pump to play us, uh, and so it's going to be very difficult. Uh, how do we react? How do, how, do we, how do we play? How do we react? How do we show up? Those are all important things uh, for a team as well, mentally. For Real Salt Lake defensively, the focus will be on not only Diego Valeri, the Argentine designated player, but also Darlington Nagby, who likes to float in from that right-hand side. You have some technically very gifted one-on-one uh, -on -one players, uh, but players that also like to combine. Uh, and Nagby, I think sometimes, is, uh, you know, he's... He's a little misunderstood. People think he's an out-and-out -out winger, but a guy that loves to come inside for me, connect and play soccer and pick and choose his times to, to dice you up. Uh, and so we need to be very careful of all those players. They showed, you know, in the Open Cup game how dangerous they can be. Uh, we need to make sure whatever we're doing, we're all on the same page. If we're, you know, sitting in and, and defending, uh, we do it collectively. And when we look to, you know, break, we, we, we do that collectively as well. Uh, and so it's a collective effort against a, a team like that. We had to play some good defense because they had, you know, a lot of the ball more than what we're used to, especially on our home field, and they were tough to handle. It was probably the most communicating uh, I think our back line has had to do all season long, and and the rest of the team. Uh, they have guys moving all over the field, interchanging, and uh, and not just anybody, but quality players, and so it, it's a lot to deal with. But you know, we're hoping to keep the ball a little bit better than we have as of late, and uh, and that'll be our best defense. So we'll see. We'll, you know, we'll go in there and try to implement our game plan like we always do. We're not going to play uh, too much different than um, you know, what we have in terms of style. Uh, and hopefully we can impose our will on them a little bit. Will's obviously a great player. Kyle's obviously a great player and leader of our team. Uh, but in saying that, there's going to be good players that fill in for them. Um, you know, we've won games without Kyle. They've, they've, they've won some games without Will, I'm sure. This is just how it goes uh, in MLS. Guys get suspended this time of year, uh, injuries, call-ups, all these things. There's always different guys in and out. Uh, and this is when, uh, you know, the better teams show how important depth is. So hopefully we do that tomorrow night. The response comes in matches. Um, the training session was good. Uh, yesterday's training session, the guys that were involved, it was good. Today's session was very good. Um, but the response comes and the answers come uh, during the match. Watch RSL take on Portland on August 21st at 9 on Utah CW30.